Right, fellas, welcome back. I've just got back from Croft. There's a lot of, there's, in the Ford scene, there's a lot of, it's called concourse cars, and they're literally like immaculate underneath. Like, they, they mustn't even be driven. They're, honestly, they're amazing to look at. They put like original stickers on the diff and little yellow marks where nuts have been tightened. And in the Ford factory, they'll put like a yellow line on the nut and then onto whatever it's bolted to so you can see if the nut's turned a bit. Honestly, people go to mad lengths when they do the concourse cars. Like when I done this, it was never about being concourse. The reason I started was the car was 25 year old when I started, maybe. And it was just getting a little bit of bubble rust underneath. And it was bugging us because I was like, well, I'm not going to sell the car. So if I don't do the bubble rust, it's going to turn into holes. Then I'm going to have to get it welded and it would have just been a nightmare. So what I thought, being smart, I'll put it in the garage. I got on four axle stands, so it was off all four wheels off the floor. And I thought, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take any exhausts, fuel tanks, diffs, anything like that off. I'm just going to get an angle grinder on a wire brush, get all the bubble rust. Just to, it was no holes. It wasn't rotten. It was just purely just preventive maintenance. Do you know what I mean? Like all the surface rust and just stop it turning into holes. But then one thing led to another, and I like, I done a bit, and I was like. Well, I might as well take the exhaust off. So I took the exhaust off, then the fuel tank came off, then the rear axle came off, and everything just ended up coming off till it was still underneath. It was just nothing there, apart from the engine. I left the engine in, and literally, over the space of like a w one winter, I just spent an absolute age with an angle grinder. Let's show you which one I used. So I must have spent like, Three months, maybe in hours, in hours, it must have been a hundred hours, a hundred hours under the car with this. This is the second one. I burnt one out with that on the end, just literally at the under sale. Just boom, pair of your phones, a pair of safety glasses on, air protection, and just underneath, freezing cold garbage. Just boom, do you know what I mean? Just constant, absolute nightmare. But the angle grinder, right? This was the second one. Obviously, I bought it new. And for some reason, I, put, I was doing something, I put a cutting disc on. So I put brand new, brand new at the time, put my cutting disc on, turned it on, and it pfft, jumped out my hands, cut through the cable. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's brand new. It's got like a solder join in it now, but anyway. All right, but that's what I used. Angle grinder with one of these on the end. I went through a few of these. And I literally took it back there. It was just shiny steel, full underneath of the car. So what I done was I got some high zinc, built amber primer it's like what they use in oil rigs do you know what I mean so I sprayed the full underneath with this high zinc primer then stone guarded it but then I had all these rusty bottom arms and oily diffs and rusty fuel tanks and I thought well I can't put all that back on so then that turned into getting it all sandblasted powder coated I got the diff rebuilt that was like 500 quid from some diff like cosy diff specialist I'll leave a link in the description where I've got the diff done. They were spot on, do you know what I mean? It was spot on, done a mint job. But when I used to try and do donuts, you've seen me doing up the temp by the way, the shite. But if I try to do a donut, one way would just spin, so I've got the diff rebuilt. I've got the brakes rebuilt from Big Red. I mean, the brakes, they look mint, the brakes, when you get them back. I think they're like, I think I paid about 250 quid to get the brakes done. I spent a fortune getting it done underneath. But it's not even the money that bothers us, it's the time I lost, do you know what I mean? But it's one of them things, I mean, now it should last hopefully another 20 year, 30 year without us even touching the underneath. I've never cleaned it since I've done it. Let's show you the underneath now. Come here. You see it's still a bit dirty. I mean, that'll just wipe off. It's just, I, I never bother. Do you know what I mean? It just wipes off. But you can see it's all underneath. That's a different, it was rebuilt. I painted all the screws blue. I've got some gas golds on, some gas gold shocks, new handbrake cables, new fuel pump and fuel filter, all the lines. I've got all new clips down there for the brake lines. All the, I've got all the bolts zinc plated. But I know a lot of you comment on my video saying how it looks underneath. So I just thought I'd give you a look. Do you know what I mean? It's, a bit, it's nice to see what's going on. See the brake color was there. The back ones are zinced, as they would have been from the factory. The front ones are powder coated. 
I will see fellas this has not been cleaned in three or four years since I've done, the, done it you see like in the arches it's all a bit grimy see where the wheels been cut the tides have been catching that's ah, so that's underneath my car fellas I just thought I'd give you a little look do you know what I mean you've seen the top you've seen the interior now you've seen me up my skirt so to speak thanks for watching fellas I'll see you next time